Hello guys, welcome to our channel. In today's video, we are going to solve the problems with Grand RP, and after this, you will be able to play in your server and enjoy it. So the problem is mostly occurring with Windows 11 users, and if you are Windows 10 users and facing the same problem of Grand RP getting crashed, then the solution would also solve your issue too. And I am using Windows 11 right now. And let's begin with the video. But first of all, let me tell you one thing: there, this is my first time in making the video in English so let's begin now so as you can see I have launched Grand RP and I have launched the server 1 and it's getting loaded here you can see Rockstar screen getting loaded the importance of Rockstar screen uh, loading screen here is that it is it is because it's verifying your license to the game it's verifying your integrity to the game if this doesn't get verified your game will crash because you have not established yourself as a legal user though you are a legal user still if this loading screen doesn't get completed then your game would crash because Rage Multiplayer or Grand RP servers don't want illegal uh, players to play out their servers. So here you can see that as the loading was not finished of Rockstar uh, Launcher, therefore the game got crashed. In Steam also, when you play the game from Steam also, Rockstar Launcher also works there. It also starts when you start uh, when you start your game. So here in th in this also it starts. So here you can uh, you were able to see that the game got crashed because the loading screen of Rockstar Launcher doesn't get finished. Okay, so why uh, the loading is not completed? It has many causes. Uh, the first cause is due to a firewall or antivirus. Your Rockstar Launcher is not getting proper access to your internet. If it will not get the proper access to internet, it will definitely not able to verify you as a legal customer. Therefore, it gets crashed. It's not able to build up uh, your connection as a legal player of the game. Therefore, it gets crashed. So first thing we need to do is just uh, remove uh, your Grand RP uh, software from antivirus block list. You, we need to exclude uh, Grand RP from your antivirus there, uh, so that it doesn't block its connections and it doesn't block your game from getting started. Okay. So what we need to do is first of all, we need to go to firewall and exclude your game from it. So guys, we are on my desktop and the first thing we need to do is go to our antivirus. So my antivirus is managed by McPhee security. So we need to go there. I have active membership of McPhee. If you are not having McPhee or you just need to go to your antivirus setting, Windows setting, virus and threat protection. But if you are McPhee users, you should you should go to McPhee. Okay. If we, the thing we need to do here is just uh, exclude some programs from real time scanning. These programs you can see here, uh, these launchers, EAC launcher, DHMP, A, and Grand RP launcher. So we need to exclude these three from real time scanning. Uh, by doing this, it will exclude them from antivirus uh, because they are purported as a virus. So they are getting blocked by McPhee. So what we need to do is just exclude these three files and for the excluding these th three files from uh, real time scanning, we need to know its uh, folder. So we could add uh, them here. So for knowing the folder, what you need to do is just uh, go on to Grand RP logo from where you start the game and just go to open file location. And if it uh, forwards you to a shortcut, then again, click on uh, right click and go to open file location until to, you reach a folder like this. Here in you could find Grand RP launcher's location. So what we need to do here is just go on the address bar and just uh, right, uh, left click it and copy the address. Okay. You need to copy it and then go to McPhee antivirus and then just add file. And here you need to paste that address and uh, and click on go. Okay. So here you see Grand RP launcher, open it and it would get added. Then again, go to add file and in the same folder, go to rage MP. Herein you would find ESC launcher. It, you need to add it also. And also one last thing is that you need to add uh, this rage MP. Also, you need to add this and just your things with antivirus is now sorted. Now the next thing is would be very easy. The next step is very easy, but you need to ensure you have done all the things right. And for uh, Windows uh, uh, users who don't have McPhee, you need to do the same step from uh, virus and threat. So guys, the next step would be to allow uh, an app through firewall and that app would be Grand RP or these multiplayer. So what we need to do next is to allow Grand RP through firewall for which we need to type in here allow and this would show up and we need to open it. And after opening it, we need to uh, just click on change settings and after it we need to allow click on allow another app and after it you need to browse and those three same files which we added uh, in our antivirus exclusion list 
those three softwares we need to add for example this grand launcher and under uh, this multiplier this EAC launcher and this MP uh, we need to open all of it and add it I have already added it so I'm not going to do it again okay so, so this is the step and the third step would be just opening grand RP and choosing your server and just click on play and just wait for it to open and we what we need to do is instantaneously open file explorer and just keep on exploring it as the name suggests and you need to do this step I'm serious because doing this runs the uh, server uh, the uh, software grand rp in the background and i don't know what happens here but your game starts running every time i do this if i would not open windows explorer this game would not start the server would not start so we just need to explore file explorer you know just keep on exploring it and your game would run it sounds like a myth but it is true i don't know what happens here but whenever Grand RP runs in background of some app. It its server starts running. Here also the same thing will happen. Just you can check from here, but just don't open it. Okay, just keep on exploring uh, file explorer. This is a weird step, but it works all the time. And when I don't perform it, it doesn't work. The server doesn't start. You know, just keep on opening folders and you know doing stuff. Open some websites or you know, it's. <sighs> So I uh, still not started. If it would start, there's um, some text would come here. So just wait for some moment also. All right, and it would start shortly. It would start here. We can see that it's got started, and this was the same PC wherein it was not getting started. Right. So after this, there are no problems. You could play the game easily. You know, guys, my internet right now is just bad. Some problem with I got with it. So it would. It might take some time, but after this, it will not crash. You know, once it start get started like this, it would not crash. But one thing I need to show that if you are not believing on my third step, then I would show you without doing it, without exploring File Explorer, and you would see that it would crash without loading loading this window. So as you can now see, I am in the login login page, and after this, I would surely be logged in in my game, and this is mm, my uh, this is my character, and as you can see, I am in the server now. And this has only been possible because I was running Grand RP in the background while it was getting loaded. So whenever the game gets, gets uh, initializing, then you need to run it in background. So that it gets proper access of your internet. Otherwise, it just gets blocked and you are not uh, able to verify yourself as a licensed user, as a valid user. So guys, let, let's test our solution this time by not running the uh, Grand RP launcher or the whole loading screen in the background. and uh, just using uh, it as uh, maximize and not using other apps such as file explorer like we did before but this time just using it at maximized screen and using uh, those software on screen and not running it in the background and uh, let's see if it crashes or not this time so as you can see I have already started it and it's on the loading screen and it's at full maximized uh, not full but yes it's in the front and not in the background and let's see if it just crashes or just or it will launch just wait for the while and still waiting for the game so here are these multiplayer screen just launches and still the rockstar launcher is loading means it didn't verify us therefore it crashed so, so we can clearly conclude that my solution is the best right now so just try it and your issues would definitely be fixed and also you can consider subscribing us we'll make these type of tutorials and uh, solutions to every kind of problem in your computer whichever query you ask for and if you want you can like this video or you have any kind of query or uh, you want to ask something from us so you can